All right, so here's your pump, and you're going to put it together, I guess. Yeah, we've got, uh, you know, first we've got a PTO coupler, and uh, it's just got a little set screw going on the flat side of our shaft. Uh, I'm going to put this on here and uh, tighten this down. We'll be ready to go on with that. Now, there are single assembly pumps that you can get. They just, you know, they come all together with the PTO, or does this seem to work pretty well? Well, generally, you're going to buy the two things separate. That way, uh, you know, if you've got this, your pump goes bad. You know, uh, you just, just buy a new pump, you've got this, because, you know, these are uh, 20 to $40, depending on what you get for, right. for options. And so, uh, so I guess you don't want to buy a new one every, every time, time. You, you need one. Uh, you can also rebuild these pumps as well. It's just a roller pump, and it's got little rollers inside of it that spin around. So, uh, nice thing is, is, is over time, as it starts to wear, it's got product going through it. You can, you know, you can go ahead and rebuild it if you need to. Uh, basically, we're just going to put a couple of little, uh, little fittings in here. Uh, that uh, for the inlet. Uh, nice thing about the pumps is they're labeled. This is the inside. It says uh, in <laughs> on it. Uh, so uh, and they're and they're set up to, uh, to to run on PTO as well. That's the reason that's they're designed that they're set up for that type of rotation. You can buy kits to reverse the rotation if you end up putting it on a little engine or something like that. If you okay. want to put it on a little gas engine and and running a, a pump that way, but uh, but they're they're. They're, they're primarily thought that, okay, you're going to put it on a PTO. Right. The nice thing about the roller pumps as well is, you know, this pump's designed to turn about five or 600 RPM, which matches mm -hmm. our 540 uh, really well on, right. on our PTO. So, uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's about as simple as you can get for going to a, uh, a sprayer pump. Great. Great. And put a little uh, tape on there, plumber's put, tape. Put a little uh, Teflon tape on here. A uh, little elbow yeah. grease. And then uh, kind of tighten those up a little bit. Uh, uh, one thing you have to do is, you, you know, this is typically, uh, it's probably going to go inside of a PTO shield. Uh, the, the shield on the, the tractor that it's going to be on most of the time is wide enough to handle the, the, two, uh, the two elbows that I put in here. So these are going to be uh, facing straight back. Okay. And so that way we don't have to take the shield off the tractor to, to put the pump on. And in some cases, uh, you will have to remove that shield to put, the, to put a pump on. If that's the case, then everything else should be shielded within itself, you know, so... Okay. Uh, Safety first. Right. right. So. so I guess now we want to put the uh, valves together. Yeah, we've got the pump on the tractor. We've got a hose to that. So now we've got to get our valve assembly together and know how long that hose has got to be right. uh, to, to where we're going to go there. So uh, so basically, you know, we've just got some uh, some pipe nipples. We'll put some, some, uh, some tape on them. Uh, these things will go together like this. We've got our pressure relief valve that's going to go on here, uh, come out of the bottom of it back to the tank, mm -hmm. you know, to, for our agitation. And then our pressure gauge will go right in the end here and we'll angle that again back towards the operator so they can see it. Uh, got uh, pipe nipples that will come into the, the bottom of the valve and then this will go to the boom. One okay. of them will go to a handgun, one of them will go to the boom. Now one of the, th the choices that we made on this was this, it's only 30 foot boom. So we're putting one valve on it to, right. to run the whole boom off of one. Whereas, uh, you know, you could have the option to run three valves and have a center section, or, or if you wanted to run just one wing, you know, separate, so you could spray along a fence line or a road ditch or something like that, you could do that. Okay. Uh, but this is, a, this is primarily it's a pasture sprayer, so we're going to set it up and run it like that. Okay.